another episode of Sound Pals Go to the Movies. This is another Throwback Thursday review, and today I'll be reviewing the movie Alien from 1979. And just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. After investigating a mysterious transmission of an unknown origin, the crew of a commercial spacecraft encounters a deadly life form. So let's begin with my first pro. This film is a classic horror sci-fi movie. The fact that this film was made with a low budget of 10 million, but made 65 million domestically is insane. And then it was done once again in the sequel Aliens with a budget of 17 million and made 85 million. I feel that this movie should be up there among the other low budget films that have made huge profit that film students should actually see and study because there is so much to be gained by watching these films. So many things that are easily done in the film with very little money or technical stuff but just practical effects with what some may consider actual trash. Also used in the stage, costumes and props and are very simple and that is how Ridley Scott intended it to be. Not a lot of budget, but it would focus more on the actual presentation and the script and story. Next pro, the cast. It is small and it keeps it simple. You can focus more on the development of the story and explain the characters more. Viewers will be able to keep track of the cast even if you throw in a monster, you will be able to follow along all the characters and the story at the same time. Also the acting from certain people are meant to be cold and others comical while others are just being themselves. You don't get a cold emotional scientist crew in space like other films but here you have a working class crew in space who are trying just to get home but then something goes wrong next pro the script is a simple and yet it is still able to expand to make so many alien films and create its own franchise but it is because of the monster that you hardly see when it's attacking till the end when you finally see it and see what it is and have a chance to admire the simple form from a costume designer point of view it is just a suit but in the film it brings fear to the viewers because the story takes place in space where you have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide yet this deadly thing is after you next pro the special effects are minimal and the ones that are in the film we see how they use them sparingly and others are just practical effects look at the face hugger for example it is simple and if you have time i suggest you look up a video on youtube and see how simple they were made but most important thing was the inspiration from where it came from and the idea of how they are stages for these creatures and tasks that each one has to undertake or has to do for the others to progress which later in the franchise we find out why and how they do them and now onto my cons there are some parts that are funny and might look out of place nowadays one big example is when dallas and ash are investigating the face hugger that is attached to kane they are seen wearing oxygen masks with the tip where the actual hose is supposed to be attached to but nothing is attached to it back then it looked very sci-fi ish but now it just looks funny like that doesn't really do anything to keep them safe from a scientific point of view also other parts where the crew is walking around and you see water everywhere it's like okay where is this from if they only had taken the time to explain it either it comes from a coil a vent a propulsion system then i would be like ah okay now it makes sense and the water is there and it's not leaking from the spaceship and it does not add any danger to the crew being electrocuted by just water going everywhere these are things that are being nitpicked but not really bad and not really too negative next con if the company that sent ash to find the signal and break back the specimen why didn't he just go down to the planet himself to get the specimen i mean he is an android so why send other humans or why not just send multiple androids along with the crew and have them search for the creature and then take it back instead of hiding amongst the crew acting like they're human and acting like they needed to sleep when they could have just been roaming around the ship i guess some people would say that the company wanted to see what the creature would do to human subjects as an experiment and that could be true but why run the risk of it escaping or ash not succeeding in his mission and then having ripley try to destroy it these are some questions that the film kind of lingers on but it really does not take from the film my grade for this movie is going to be an 8 out of 10 this film i would place it in the top 10 films that created a franchise of its own with a low budget and it gave us what most sci-fi films still try to emulate as outer space a ship with real scientists that actually curse and actually feel human also the most iconic creature slash monster that every Everybody can recognize from a film. The story is still captivating old fans and new fans that are exposed to the film. It might be a bit outdated, but it can still pull you in and keep you in your seat. Even the new one from 2024 played homage 
to the original and so have other films not just in this franchise i would recommend this film to those who have not seen it or want to get into the franchise but were really put off by prometheus or the other later films following this one so that does it for this review of alien from 1979 please join us next time where we're going to review man on the moon you can have this one <laughs> it's probably going to be worth a lot because it was actually up my nose <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. But you might also be brilliant. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.